Roland. Action. Relevant for today. And what is this? Cut. Hi again, it's John Joe here with Amelia. Amelia, uh, my eldest daughter. I got a message on Instagram from someone and they asked if we could show them how to make a pom pom. Pom pom. So what we're going to do today is show you how to make the simplest of pom-poms. They're so easy to make and you can do a million and one things with them. So, first of all, you need a load of wool, okay? So this is just knitting wool. It's about a pound of ball. You get it from all over the place. If you search it out, get a load of this. You should have this in your art cupboard anyway. It's good for everything, hanging stuff up, tying stuff, whatever. Get yourself some wool and then we'll show you how to do it. With everything that's going on, we wanted to do a bit of a tribute to the NHS. So we're going to try and make a rainbow of pom-poms with a heart on it and a thank you to the NHS. I don't know how it's going to work yet. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to work. We're just going to make it and see what happens. So first of all, we need our pom-poms. So I've just cut a load of wool off and what you want to do is start like this and put your fingers like that and make sure there's a bit hanging and start by wrapping it round your fingers. So now that you've wrapped it all round your fingers, you want to take it off and make sure it stays like that. And then with the two end bits, you want to tie it so it's kind of like that in the middle. Like that. And then do the same on the other side so it's tight. And then, these are the places you'll cut through Ooh. here. So if you cut like this through the holes, that is when it starts to form. And there it is. And then, to make it look better, you can start chopping the edges off so it's neater and looks better. And it can hang. Cool. Now, I do mine slightly different, obviously because I'm an artist. So, I usually get the and throw it, right? And then I'll pull it back and I'll double it over so it's like that save it's proper messy and it saves you a load of time i leave this loop so i put it into my hand and i have it hanging like that then all i do is start wrapping around so already look it's starting to build up really quick because i've got the double thread right when that runs out keep adding to it once I've got a good handful, you see it? There's my loop still hanging. There's the other end. So I'll snip off my bit of thread. There you go, loop and this end. Now, this is what I do next. I've got my loop that we started with and I've got my last bit of thread that we snipped off, okay? Simple as that and I've got my big bundle in the middle. Now what I do, I take my loop because I kept my fingers wide when I was wrapping around, I've got this gap just there in my fingers. So I take my loop from there, I go around the front and I shove it through the gap, okay? So it comes through to the other side of my hand. All right, it's a bit fiddly, but if I can do it, you can do it. So it's gone through the gap gone around and through there and it goes there. Sometimes I'll tie it around this finger, just keep it in place, right? Then my other thread, which is on this side, I'll go the other way. So I'll drop it through the hole that the thread came through, okay? So loop went that way, single thread goes this way. So again, bit fiddly, but it should go straight through, okay? So now what you've got is your single thread one side, you loop the other, and they join in the middle like that. Simple as that. It's dead easy, right? Pull that nice and tight, and then 
try and get it off of your fingers. Now keeping it all together, you end up with this. Loops through, and you've got your loop piece and your single piece. Now what I want to do there is tie them together like this. Just a bow and pull it as tight as you can, okay? And then I always do another one just to keep it all together. Again, pull it nice and tight and you're left with this sort of butterfly thing, okay? So there's all your loops that are on my fingers and there's your knot in the middle. Now what you want to do is snip the loops. See the loops across the top and across the bottom? But don't snip the knot we tied in the middle, okay? Because that's everything will fall to pieces. Just go along, make sure that you've got all of the loops. And then because we did it with our loop, if we snip that one off, but because we did it with our loop, we can even hang it straight away. So little tip. But that's how I make mine. Then I'll just go around, like Amelia said, I'll trim it, make it neat, and it's done. So my dad's really into recycling, so we're going to be using this old box to cut into our love heart shape and put our pom poms around it. So now you'll need a pencil to draw on our love heart, and then we will stick the pom poms on. One. Remember, recycling is important. So reuse as much stuff as you can. I'm going to use the other piece of card that we chopped out of the box to make the little NHS logo. Me and Amelia thought it'd be quite cool to do something so on Thursday night when we go out and clap we can hang this up as well that'd be quite cool. So just a simple, now there is an actual NHS logo which I think is blue and white and you can copy that exactly if you want but I'm just showing you quickly how you can do it okay. So it's not going to be perfect you know make it as neat as you can. Then Chop that out. I'll get rid of my line so it's just like this. Okay, simple as that look. And then hopefully that'll be about the right size to go in the center. NHS, simple as that. Anyone wants to invest in things to help out with their art clubs and their classes and their homework and all that. Get some Posca pens. They are literally the coolest things you can get for doing art. So you see how the pen is full of paint. When you shake it, it mixes it up. Simple as that. And if you pump the lead, or if you pump the tip of the pen, the paint comes out even better. So it's always good to have a selection of materials you can use when you're making your art cluster. Okay, so if I just fill this in, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so there's the pen. Let's see how it looks when it's done. Okay, so that's what it looks like and my NHS badge, and now we need pom-poms to stick it all together. <laughs> now, we've cleaned up all of our poppadom mess that Amelia made. <laughs> they're not poppadoms, they're pom-poms, okay? Right, we've cleaned up all of our pom-pom mess that Amelia made, throwing them everywhere. <laughs> so now, we've got a piece of twig or stick from outside, and the plan is to hang the heart down from it like that and then around the top of it we're going to build a sort of rainbow out of the pom-poms. We've tied the pom-poms on at the top so they don't come off and we've tried to make it as level as possible. Cool. So, yeah. Let's hang it see what it looks like. That's perfect. <laughs> 